everyone you're welcome to solve this nice square root math problem which is the square root of k plus square root of minus k this is equal to 4 so what is the value of k now let's provide a solution from here now we have the square root of k plus square root of minus k this is equal to 4 so the first thing to do here, let's take square root of minus k on the right hand side so that we have square root of k. This is equal to 4 minus square root of minus k. So the first step to do here, let's square both signs. Let's square both signs from here so that now we eliminate the first square root sign here so that we have k is equal to, this is 4 minus square root of minus k raised to the power of 2. And we have that 4 minus square root of minus k to the power of 2. This is in the form of a minus b to the power of 2. This can be expressed as a squared plus b squared subtract 2ab. Now, applying this algebraic identity, then we have that k is equal to, now we have 4 squared plus square root of minus k raised to the power of 2, then subtract 2 times 4, then times square root of minus k. So this means that we have k is equal to 4 squared, which is 16. Now, square root of minus k to the power of 2, this means we can eliminate the square root sign. So this is plus times minus k, this is minus k, then we have minus 2 times 4, this is 8, so we have minus 8 square root of minus k. Now, the next step is, let's take minus k on the left hand side, so that we have k plus k, this is equal to 16 minus 8 square root of minus k so k plus k this is 2k this is equal to 16 subtract 8 square root of minus k now 16 minus 8 we have that 2 is common here we can factor out 2 so that we have 2 into the parentheses this is 8 minus 4 square root of minus k the next step is to divide both signs by 2 so that now here we have that k is equal to this is 8 minus 4 square root of minus k now the next step is to take 8 on the left hand side so that now here we have k minus 8 this is equal to minus 4 square root of minus k. We can write this as minus 4 square root of minus k. This is equal to k minus 8. So the next step is to square both signs from here. Let's square both signs. So that now minus 4 to the power of 2. This is the same thing as 16. Then multiplying by we have the square root of minus k raised to the power of 2. This is equal to k minus 8 to the power of 2. So we can eliminate the square root sign here so that we have 16 times minus k, which is minus 16k. This is equal to k minus 8 to the power of 2. So this is equal to k squared plus... 8 squared, then minus 2 times 8 times k, so that we have minus 16k here. This is equal to k squared, plus we have 8 squared, this is 64, then minus 8 times 2 here, which is 16k. Now, we have 16 minus 16k and minus 16k here simplifies. So that we have k squared plus 64, this is equal to 0. Now, we have that k squared, this is equal to 
minus 64. Now, we can solve for k by introducing the square root on both sides. We have the square root of k squared. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of minus 64. So this means that we can eliminate the square root sign here so that k is equal to, now we have plus or minus. We can express the square root of minus 64. This is the same thing as 64 multiplied by minus 1. So that now k is equal to plus or minus the square root of 64, this is 8. The square root of minus 1, this is i. So we have that k, we have two values of k. We have k1 is equal to 8i, and we have that k2 is equal to minus 8i. The next step is to verify that k1 and k2 satisfies the equation. Now let's verify that k1, which is 8i, and k2, which is minus 8i, satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we end at the square root of k plus the square root of minus k. This is equal to 4. Now let's start with k1. So we have the square root of 8i plus the square root of minus 8i. This is equal to 4. So the first thing, let's square both sides from here. So that now, the square root of 8i plus square root of minus 8i raised to the power of 2. This is in the form of a plus b to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Applying this algebraic identity, then we have the square root of 8i raised to the power of 2 plus the square root of minus 8i raised to the power of 2, then plus 2 multiplying by square root of 8i multiplying by square root of minus 8i cross the parentheses this is equal to 4 squared which is 16 so square root of 8i squared this means we eliminate the square root side so we have 8i then plus let's eliminate the square root sign here as well so this is plus minus 8i then plus, here we have 2 multiplying by, now, square root of 8i times square root of minus 8i, this can be expressed as a single square root of 8 times 8 times minus 1. Then we have i times i, this is times i squared, this is equal to 16. Now, here we have 8i plus times minus 8i, this means this is 8i minus 8i, then plus 2. Into the parentheses here, we have the square root of 8 times 8, this is 64, multiplying by minus 1, multiplying by i squared. We have that i squared, i squared, this is the same thing as minus 1. So substituting minus 1 here, we have times minus 1. Cross the parentheses, this should give us a value of 16. So this implies that here, 8i minus 8i simplifies, so that we have 2 into the parentheses. This is the square root of 64. We have that minus 1 times minus 1, this is 1, so times 1 cross the parentheses, this should give us a value of 16. So this is 2 times square root of 64, this is 8, and this should give us a value of 16. 8 times 2, this is 16, which is equal to 16. So this means that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that k1, which is 8i, satisfies the equation. Let's check k2, which is minus 8i from here. Now let's verify that k2, which is minus 8i, satisfies the equation. Now we have the square root of k plus square root of minus k. This is equal to 4. Substituting k2 
k2 will have square root of minus 8i plus the square root of minus multiplying by minus 8i this is equal to 4 so minus times minus 8i this is positive 8i so we have square root of minus 8i plus the square root of 8i this is equal to 4 so let's square both signs from here so that now here we have the square root of minus 8i square then plus square root of 8i raised to the power of 2 then plus 2 multiplying by now we have the square root of minus 8i multiplying by square root of 8i cross the parentheses this should give us a value of 4 squared which is equal to 16 now the square root of minus 8i squared this means we can eliminate the square root sign so this is minus 8i again we can eliminate the square root sign here so we have minus 8i plus 8i then plus 2 into the parentheses this is the square root of we can express this as a single square root of minus this is minus 8 times 8 this is minus 64 multiplying by i squared cross the parentheses this should give us a value of 16 minus 8i plus 8i this simplifies so that we have 2 into the parentheses this is the square root of now we can express minus 64 as 64 multiplying by minus 1 multiplying by i squared cross the parentheses this is supposed to give us a value of 16. now this means that here we have 2 into the parentheses this is the square root of 64 times minus 1 times i squared this is the same thing as minus 1 so we, we substitute i squared with minus 1 so we have minus 1 here cross the parentheses this is supposed to give us a value of 16. now here we have 2 multiplying by square root of now minus 1 times minus 1 this is 1 times 64 so we have the square root of 64 this is supposed to give us a value of 16. now we have 2 times square root of 64 this is 8 this is supposed to give us a value of 16. so 8 times 2 this is 16 which is equal to 16. and this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this affirms that the value of k2 which is minus 8i also satisfies the equation so can you follow the steps like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now